In the shadow of the Manhattan skyline is where you find the American Dream Mall in the New Jersey Meadowlands, and that is the site for the next seven days of the U.S. Curling Men's and Women's National Championships. The winners on to the World Champions, World Championships. For the men, to Schaffhausen, Switzerland. For the women, Sydney, Nova Scotia, uh, coming up in a few weeks' time. Along with Tyler George, 2018 Olympic gold medal winner, I'm Joe Tollison. Glad you've joined us for tonight's session, which draw one will be on the women's side. And you can see it will be Team Anderson against reigning national champions, uh, two-time Olympic team in 2018 and 2022, and that is Team Peterson skipped by Tabitha Peterson. So we should have a good one to start things off, the first and third highest-ranked women's teams in the World Curling Federation rankings. Yeah, these are two extremely experienced teams, Joe. Uh, we're going to expect fireworks early on. You don't want to put too much emphasis on the first game of a tournament, but facing one of the top teams, obviously they want to come out with a win. Really trying to get the conditions first, trying to get the ice down. We always didn't want to put too much emphasis on the win or loss, but especially for Team Anderson in this game, if they could come out and get an early win against the number one seed in this tournament, huge confidence builder going forward. Yeah, the sisters of Sarah and Taylor Anderson, Lexi Lanigan and Leah Yavaro making up the remainder of that team. And Tara and Tabitha Peterson as part of Team Peterson with Becca Hamilton and Corey Teesey. Yeah, this team's been together for a while now. Corey Teesey coming on board a couple of years ago, replacing Nina Roth, who I'm sure is watching at home. Uh, fit in extremely well with this team. They've had a lot of good results on tour, obviously the number 12 ranked team in the world and two Olympic uh, appearances for this squad uh, besides the defending reigning national champions. And the remaining matchups here for draw one will be uh, Christine McMakin and Miranda Scheel on sheet A, Elizabeth Cousins and Rachel Workin on sheet B, Kim Rhyme against Delaney Strauss on sheet D. And of course, you can pick whichever stream you want to watch from A, B, C, or D. Um, whether it's the positive or negative, you get stuck with <laughs> Tyler and I here on Sheet C. It, it, says we it ends up being stuck with more as the week goes <laughs> on, yeah, because it's just going to be us the entire week, folks. And there you can see uh, after the last known draw, it is Team Anderson that will hold the hammer here in the first end as we get set for draw one of this 2024 national championship. Now, we're not at a traditional venue. We're not in an arena. We're not in a curling club. We are at a rink uh, that is in a mall in the New Jersey Meadowlands. This was the home of the Metropolitan Riveters uh, in the old uh, National Women's Hockey League. And that team folded when they created a new league this year. But they used to play here. And from being in the area, Tyler, it was strange. You're just walking through the mall and saying, hey, there's a game going on. Uh, and a little bit here, but with there is some distraction here. There's some stores at, behind the home end of the rink and all that. How much of a challenge is that to be in a non-traditional environment for these players? I think you'd be surprised how much tunnel vision these teams have when they play in competitions like this. Something that they had a chance to get used to in the pregame practice and obviously the pre-event practice earlier today. Uh, I think they're going to make quick adjustments to that. So it's same as any other circumstance, you get used to your surroundings. It's just. Again, a little different, as you said, when you see retail stores and Popeye's chicken, you know, somewhere uh, in the distance as you're throwing your stones. But uh, especially for veteran teams like this, uh, I don't expect that to be too much of an issue for them. Although you can hear quite a lot of buzz and noise uh, just from people walking by who are stumbling into a national championship event. So yeah, extremely unique circumstances for these teams. All right, first stone played out by Becca yeah. Hamilton. Okay, just a three then. And a good center guard there. And now first stone for Team Anderson okay. as we are underway here in what will be a seven draw round robin for the eight teams competing on both the men's and women's side. And for Team Peterson, of course, as we mentioned, defending national champions, they've been to the world championships, they've been to the Olympics. They're the team to beat right now. Yeah, they're the champs until somebody Five. proves otherwise. And uh, with their team, John Schuster's team on the men's Five. side, it's the same deal. They've been the reigning champs for a while for a reason. And all yeah, the rest of the teams, running. they want to win the national championship. But even knocking yeah, off the top her. seed in any given game is yeah. a big feather in the cap and a victory all on its own. Okay. All right, second stone Five. from Becca Hamilton. Just slides past that first center guard. 
Yeah, aggressive start from both teams. You see a center guard from Team Peterson and a corner guard from Team Anderson. So wasting no time playing. A lot of times, Joe, you see a conservative start and you're getting used to these conditions where a team may go in the house, trade hits out yep, in the first end, yep, yep. get a feel for the ice, but neither team uh, electing yep. to do that here. And Becca's uh, second draw, they're coming up a little short on the come around draw, so an opportunity for Team Anderson to take that all important position in the top of the forefoot with this in turn draw. And they have done Good. just that. And actually put it to right to the top of the button there. Yeah, really nicely done there by Leah Yavaro. And so much of positioning in these ends, Joe, is about having that spot in the top of the forefoot. You're not necessarily trying to score with that stone, but you would be the you want to be the team that's there first and take that position away. And with the, the way those guards are staggered in the front with Hamilton's two stones, it's, it's tough to play any kind of run back too. So it's going to take two stones to move anything to clear it open. So electing to play the freeze first as with the no tick and free guard zone. <laughs> Cannot move those stones yet. That comes a little deep from Tara, back of the forefoot, not terrible, but would have liked to be in front of that red stone. They come right to it. And now we can start to get interested. Yeah, they, uh, <laughs> they didn't make us kill time early, that's for sure. We, we got fireworks right from the get-go. And, and this is the, the aggressiveness you'd like to see, I think, specifically from Team Anderson, that you really play with nothing to lose against a team of this caliber. Certainly doesn't mean that uh, Team Anderson isn't talented in their own right, but you know, no oh, question Becky. who the top seed Becky, in the Becky. tournament is. Oh. If you're going to attack a team, when you feel like you have the best chances early in the tournament and early in the game. First rock here from Lexi Lanigan. Trying to get this to turn over. They do have backing and really nicely done by Lexi Lanigan. Now sitting two. Had a great talk with Lexi a week and a half ago in the Duluth Curling Club. So motivated to do well in this event, just fire in her eyes. Really wanted to take the mantle for her team as the driving force and you know, walk out there like you own the sheet we were talking about. And uh, she was ready to do that for this squad. She, she expects big things from her team this week. And I think that energy comes from her. She's the, the one they feed off of. Tara Peterson. Whoa, no, no, no. Seven. Ooh, you don't want to hear that, oh, no, 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 but that's what we've heard. Well, you he heard seven for the call, which means about T weight. Looks like it might be a little more than that and taps off. That's not where you want to be there. So now Anderson here. sitting two and a chance to maybe either bump and roll in, board. hit and roll in, play a draw. Board. Looks like they're so playing board weight. 11. 11. And unintentionally kind of play that one yeah, stone as a freeze here. against that back stone for Team Peterson. So it's going to be tough to move that one out. Yeah, both red stones in great position. So you heard Sarah Anderson with the board weight call. Lexi from our home club in Duluth, Minnesota, oh. Duluth Curling Club, always got to mention oh, that. Leah, Leah. This one hanging out a little bit. I really don't want to be on Leah. the wide side. Okay, roll it away, roll it away, roll it away. It picks their own off. Oh. Not a good result there. Good doing down there. <laughs> Still sitting one, but now had a chance to sit three under cover if could have made that hit and roll, but wrong side of the stone to miss on. You like freezing or coming all the way too hard? Right. Hey, I'm doing the fine freeze. Okay. So what do we think? 13-8. The question here for okay. Corey TC, kind of giving her an option what she wants to do, Tyler. Yeah, it looks like they're just trying to draw that rock in the top four foot. We heard 13-8, the call in the, in the hack, so not quite up to speed where we expect it to yeah. see. That 13-8 means the hog to hog time, the time it takes a stone to get from the near hog line to the far hog. So 13-8 is a little slower than what we'd expect normally from championship competition, but I think that'll speed up as the week goes. Great sweep to get by there. Great position. Team Anderson still with Shot right? Rock. This is fine, but top four. But just moving to yeah. 
Taylor Anderson's uh, 13, eight, first 14. stone of the competition. And Joe, I can tell you these, uh, these draws that Team Peterson is playing now, they look a lot easier when you're not looking at three stones buried in the first end. So uh, that's a, close, that draw six, seven, bump seven, oh, seven, by TC, a very good seven, shot for positioning eight, stones. Eight, Still an opportunity close, to maybe set up a two or three though four, for Anderson close, if they can get another one in close, now. Close, coming down. Yep. Hard, hard, it's really hard, turning yes, hard now. You don't hard, want to over curl and touch the yellow. Go, and it does okay. just a bit, but yeah. still, still second a shot spot. in for, for two right They're now, so we'll see. We could maybe tap yeah, it caught it just thin away. enough that it didn't really hurt too much. Kind of I think similar weight, okay. same weight. It'll be interesting to see how the ice works. It was here Saturday, they did a wheelchair competition, uh, and they were having some troubles uh, at first, but they've uh, made it a lot cooler than it was Saturday night, I'll tell you that. <laughs> And I think that's helped with the ice conditions a bit. Yeah, it's very warm here in the mall. Uh, good for the broadcasters, not as good for the players. Conditions seem to be leveling out a little bit, though. This rock curling hard now on this outturn tap attempt. Maybe caught them by surprise. It turned a, a lot harder than TC's first. So it could be something with the spot in the ice in the first end, maybe not quite playing a track out that far, or maybe something to I take mean, a look at on the stone. This, but they're doing this all day right now. I don't mind ever coming under here. That and that's, this is okay too, right? I mean, this is good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go under right here. Sorry. You could hear that, Tara having more weight, it didn't touch the curl, so they're still yeah. trying to figure out the ice a bit, which is par for the course. I think it's this right now. Yeah, okay. they're talking about okay, right the ice being weight sensitive, that, so, so right a little here. less weight means it curls a little earlier, and that's not unusual at all for our Nationals ice. Uh, usually that break point is somewhere around uh, like a back line or through where you don't get as much curl. With that one, the difference was between okay. probably top eight's weight and back four with the two outturn bumps that they played, and it took a turn a lot earlier. But that is something we see with this ice consistently for our nationals every year, that there isn't much difference in line for where you put the broom for a draw to the button or a center guard. The guards curl early, so the less weight you throw, it just turns a little bit earlier even on draws and ends up getting to the same line. That comes with the same ice makers in the ice every year. It's good to know what it's going to be like coming in. Whoa, let it sit, let it sit. And Taylor Anderson. No, 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 let it sit, let it sit. Let it sit Her final line. stone of this first good. end. Good throw, Tay. And it cuts off the, the line for both the tap on the guard or just the come around tap. So actually a very good spot. If I open it up and I jam, it's not good. So, yeah. Let's try to get a second. I like it. Right at the top of the house, we'll see what each so skip can do. Here, yeah. Tabitha Peterson and Sarah Anderson. We heard the okay. conversation with Corey Tisi and Tab Peterson about a little wary of playing a run back and opening things up and possibly making it easier for Anderson to get a three Let's or four. Second, like right on Could be line. a jam on their backstone as well. So they're going to end up playing this draw, it looks like, to the back of the forefoot. Try to get second count. Yeah. They're not We're afraid of right giving up a single in this spot, obviously. Right and you make a really good one, you might be able to wriggle out of this end only giving up a one Stay for close, a force. It seems really weight sensitive. But with the way this end started out, I don't think two would be a disaster for Tab either. But big draw here. You want to take this spot, this position in the back of the forefoot, hopefully cut him down, yeah, and sweet. also cuts Thank out God. a possible spot in the forefoot where Anderson could draw for an extra point, where? too. And turn yep. on this draw. Yep, go for line. Yes, yes, turn hard line. Hard. hard line, yeah. Again, taking a hard, hard turn on yeah. that side. Yep, yep. Looks go like top, it's going to crash, go, too. Go, go. You're having a little trouble with that outturn path. I mean, she has this, but still. Over curling. She hits it like this and it goes here. Interesting conversation mm. now for. It's either. Team Anderson. Guarding up there, right? What's guard there? What else are you thinking? I think it's that guard. I agree. Yeah. Do you want to come across center? 
Yeah, I think we go this. We know this line, right? These are where our practice yeah. rounds were. Okay. Mm. Like a two, you think? Yeah. Do you want to put the perfect somewhere yeah. on it? Yeah, either that or we do this. But I think this I think we cool. save that. Yeah, interesting Forward decision. I, I don't know if it's a right or wrong situation. I kind of liked Sarah's yeah. call right Even before she left that, there, yeah. drawing to the side of the forefoot and put a third counter in because I'm not sure what Tab does if you make that draw now. They, they may have to play the long Two. angle double tap in against a three or a possible four if you make that draw. So playing this guard, they're taking away whatever tap they might have. But I think you leave them that shot and try to take that position yourself. She is going to play the guard, but Tab may end up playing that same draw that Where? Sarah was considering Three. playing now. Do you want her to be more aggressive here? Curl! Curl! I'd like to see curl, it just curl. because I don't, yep. I don't right think here, I'd yep. be afraid of leaving them that long tap against yep. a pile of points. Whoa! Okay, whoa. Close! Curl! Whoa. As curl. is, though, curl. you're still leaving yep. a very difficult draw up, for for Tab or the double run back, whichever she elects to play. So now she is looking at that spot that Sarah talked about. I think it's about. a little too deep to get second with this. But you could just draw. I think it's just a little too deep. But then am I leaving her a nose hit for three? Like, yeah, you could just guard it. and we just She doesn't have it? a way to get another one in here. As long as you're, I mean, you could be tight though, tighter. Have to take this turn though, and you probably have to go way out wide. I just think my draw to cut her down is hard, and I might just save her a nose hit. Yeah, so yeah I'm fine with threading it. We hear the discussion here, but do you here. do you guard to, to keep it at fine. two? Can can you, draw, and do you, you think she can knock here, one out fine. here and Even force Sarah Anderson to try and she knows that it's on her last right. shot to have to? I don't mind if it's if the line's good. Draw for two herself. <laughs> Make it good. Well, the draw to try to get second. They can't get shot. They can right. get second at best. For, like, the draw to get to that spot is very difficult. Okay, so you're just gonna to leave it in a spot where. Sarah Anderson couldn't follow it still so I think we need to get three. So they're yeah. thinking that yeah. discretion is the better part of valor here and just throwing a tight guard or something in the top of the house to take away any shot for three and concede two. Not something you want to do <laughs> at any point. We're just going for the but tight guard. Really, it's, it's probably the safest shot. You don't feel like, like two is an insurmountable ball. lead, obviously, but this early in the game. Deep, like even as but they're trying to stay away from a three or four point end. And um, yeah, uh, right in the if you place this well, line. there may not be much for a third point. There might be something with that corner guard to tap in, but all depends on the placement. They need this to be at least a tight guard on that path, if not top ring. And you heard him say that a couple of times. Mine's good, three right here. Yep, go ahead, Becca, yep. The key with this is don't yeah, overcurl, don't be there. narrow, because okay. the wide it's path still off, takes the draw off, away. So they may have made that mistake. This, this is one you got to take a yep. lot of broom yep. and make yep. sure you don't yep. overcurl. Yep, yep, little bit, little bit, little bit. Go, go, and it go, does go, just go. that. So there will still be a draw for three, that and and that's just a, an error here, of not right? you know, so thinking like enough about where your miss can be. If you're out wide, it still takes away that draw. The only thing you can't do on that line is be narrow. Which is what she did. Which is exactly what <laughs> happened, yeah. So that will leave that draw for three. First end of the first game. So you got to leave a, give a little more slack I early in the competition. But, but yeah, that's a, that's an error from Team Peterson, definitely. Weight was perfect, but just need to take even what looks like too much broom. It's almost impossible to miss that shot wide. So you like a 13-8 then? Our other three have all completed their first ends. And this the final stone. Our last rock here on our feature Where? match between Team Peterson Eight. and Team Anderson. And an opportunity if Sarah Anderson Close. can pull it off here, Tyler, to take three Where? in the first end. And she's got a great line here. Yep. It's all about weight. Okay, straight. Yep, straight, yep. Wouldn't mind catching yep, a piece straight. of their own, yep. but looks like weight's great. Great that go, will Sarah. be three, really nicely done there. Great communication, great throw, three great men. team shot. 
Wonderful start to this national championship for Team Anderson with a three in the first. Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Back at American Dream on this first draw, day one, draw one of the Women's National Curling Championship. You can see in the other ones, Christine McMakin and Miranda Scheel. Yeah, we do have scores in those games. We'll yeah. Them on the table. We can tell you the scores from looking down yep. the sheets as well. Miranda Scheel picking up a point in that first end, as did Delaney Strauss. Whereas Rachel Workin and Elizabeth Cousins blanked the first end. But in our feature match here, Team Anderson, a big start with three points in the first end. And now crossing center, first crossing rock center. here to start the second. And they decide to put this one right towards the top of the four. And not a big surprise with the play there after scoring three in the first, a little more conservative and going right into the rings. Tab Peterson going to a corner guard. They're going to try to manufacture a two-point end at the least here, and, and this is a big momentum end here, Joe. Two. After giving up a three in the first end of the competition, you really like to come back with a multi-point end just to say, hey, all right, we slipped up a little early, it's but we're working. still here. We're not concerned, <laughs> and it's really not a major concern <laughs> if you can come back with an end that shows that, all right, we, we got our feet underneath us now. Is a single good enough? Uh, they'd yeah. like to get a two. A, a one isn't going to be the end of the world, uh, but uh, the difference between that one-point deficit and two-point deficit without the hammer early in the game, even with that much time left to play, still factors in. You know, you, the, you're starting to count ends once you get past the third it's or fourth based on the deficit, and there's no question that Team Peterson knows they can put up big ends of their own, but it's more of a statement end where you say, Curl. okay, you got your three, we're going to get Curl. ours now. Yeah, right to the top of the house. I don't With mind the guard this, now, Becca Hamilton. I was just curious more about. A three, yeah. Is it pressure to get multi points in this end for them, or do they have the experience because of everything? Two Olympics, okay. national champion, three, reigning national four. champion, all that to kind of. We'd like four. to get a this multi point in, but if we don't. Looks There's eight more to go. Where, where can we figure something out? Wait I think any any team in this tournament, if you're playing oh. at this level, isn't overly concerned about must get a two this end. We, it's not something you feel like it's do or die already with this much time left. Right. The team with the most experience here, Team Peterson, obviously, you expect them to react better than, than most. But but yeah, yeah. The, with that much game left, it's yeah, it's not a oh, we need to score two here immediately. But, but their experience here, they're, they're not worried, but they definitely got a little wake-up call. And Alex Lanigan. Third stone in the end for Team Anderson. Yep, yep, With those three yep, yep, in the yep. first end. Now this intern path, this is the same side of the sheet that we saw these draws over curling on in the first end. Lexi's over curls as well, and and Joe, none of these rocks that have over curled on these lines were swept out of hand, meaning that they liked the line that it was on until about halfway down the sheet, maybe two thirds of the way down, when they take that hard turn. So we may be seeing a little more curl on the left side of the sheet going away here, and the right side of the sheet coming back. Tara Peterson. Oh. 
early run back here in the end from Tara playing a, a little conservative play. They yep. like to keep that shooter okay. around, but actually takes their own corner off and rolls out wide. So not a great result there either. Opens up the middle, which you do want as the team with the hammer. You want the center open for worst case scenario, having a draw yeah. later in the end. But you still want those corners in play to have something to use to get behind and set up your two or three point end. Come in. Yep, keep it going. Back and they will draw this okay. little tap okay. in position for two. I thought they might try and freeze it up against. I think rock. that may have been a little heavier than they liked. I a guard probably would have been the safer play there. And coming in, you at least you're keeping your opponent chasing your stones, but now. An open double or open hit and stick right. for Tara Peterson as opposed to a run back on a guard. And Camarena, can't she get the double? One oh, knocks one out, but Team Anderson still with shot rock. But it's open. At least now you have your opponent chasing your stone, so. No danger really in this situation for Team Peterson. They can get a little more aggressive with trying to set up their two or three. Nine five! Whoa! Nine eight! Whoa! Whoa! Nine! Little up. No, I got a nine five. Sorry, I can't max ice on that. Opportunity for a Wait on me. Whoa, whoa, freeze whoa. for Corey TC. Right Rock rocking on the side of the forefoot. Not really guarded, but rock. much better way to try rock. to set up a multiple point end if you play the freeze as opposed to the hit. Looks like it might bump it's off a little it. bit, but not too bad from TC. So right at the edge of the button, but Team Anderson knocking away that corner guard with their last rock, Tyler. So it has changed the strategy of this end a little bit. You got it, Tay. Yeah, if that's frozen on that stone, then they, Team uh, Anderson would not be able to remove it. With that space in between, they can get to the inside, remove it, and not lose their own. Oh. Yeah. They're going to throw this one a little harder just yes. to make sure that rock gets out. Even oh. if they do lose their back one, they're not real concerned. No roll, no roll. Nice. Great throw, Tay. Yeah, good work. Good. A little conservative with the weight call there. With playing that weight, you're always either going to lose your back one or roll open so that that same freeze is now available for TC. If you're playing a little more aggressive, you play that soft and try to leave your shooter there. That removes the opportunity for a freeze, makes things a lot tougher on on Team Peterson to try to score two. Yeah, and now we'll see if Corey TC can pull this me. off. Because I think what we have seen right, here, go. Tyler, really is, hard, and we wondered about it leading you up to this, about it? what kind of throw adjustment it period yep, it would take for the teams to kind of figure out the ice. And yep, they yep, still yep, seem yep, to yep, be yep, in yep, that go, mode. Go, go, yeah, this line. one coming up way short for TC. Right. It may be a little bit of an issue with that stone. That's the same one that overcurled that, they, that came up okay. short, too, in the first end. That they misjudged and were a little confused as to why it turned over as hard as it did. Now, 
That rock's a good 15 like feet short of where she was trying to throw yeah, it. You don't see misses it. like that very often without a pretty good reason. For people who don't know, I mean, we hear, oh, they're, they're all stones, they're I granite. They're, I mean, you hear so much about curling. They even come from the same quarry, all that. So how different can it be stone to stone? I mean, you can see a difference of you know, six, seven feet with a stone uh, being shorter or curling more than another. It's not going to curl six more feet, but distance-wise, it could stop six feet shorter than another stone. And you see stones curl more than others. You see some straighter. Uh, straighter ones obviously carry farther usually, too. So figuring out your set of stones, which they've all been doing in the, the pre-event practice, and then night practice afterwards as well, having a lot of times the alternate and the coach going out and matching stones for the next day. Okay. Toughest time for it is right at the Can beginning of the curl? tournament when you have the least input. Curl. And, we got a curl. You know, we're not saying we know that stone is short. We're giving Here. Corey the benefit of the doubt, calling curl. it stone more just than curl. the throw. Sometimes you are just that short, but 14, twice right now that stone has come up short and over curled and surprised them. It's like when you get bag e bad eggs for Keep breakfast. Curling. Do you blame <laughs> the cook? Do you blame the hen? <laughs> I blame the airline today. That's exactly <laughs> what happened to me. We have to kind of tap, tap nice throw there from to, yeah, like try to get Sarah through. Anderson. Yeah. Great position. We and that's the difference, shot. Joe, in where those rocks yeah. are at. Now, we talked about taking that freeze away with that rock being above the T line behind a guard. Oh, really okay. difficult to get I'm shot rock this. drawing up to it. You have to move it a little bit without <laughs> yeah. rolling open. We'll listen in a little bit here. To like here. It is, but, but we're not going to be shot is the problem. And then if she just guards it, mm -hmm. guards the hole, then, then what am I doing? Maybe yeah. I might have a double off those, off that one. Yeah, maybe. maybe. What do you like? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just go with that, the tap thing, little tap. So you're throwing like so I back you... four? Yeah. Okay. So just a little less ice in you? Yeah. Okay. So they are going to attempt the tap that we mentioned, but again, a much tougher yeah, shot tap with that rock above the T line. Us. They need to move it. Maybe on your side of nose. Probably at least back to where we that other red shot, is in order to get shot. It'll be close. This is still trying to salvage a multi-point in. Well, at this point, you're happy with one. Right. You're, this is a lot more danger than they were looking at a couple shots ago, and you only have two stones left. So you want your worst case scenario being that you still have a shot for one. But this first stone from Tab, if they can at least get second count out of it, then Mine's you're good. not worried about the other counters. You can get a little more aggressive with your last shot, not oh. worrying about giving up a big oh. end. And you yeah. heard in their discussion between yeah. Tab Peterson and Corey Tisi about she can just guard the hole. Hard, Tara! Hard! That one yep, took a hard go, turn halfway yep, down, yep, yep, too, yep, yep, and yep, now yep, that's yep. going to wreck. So the misses early in this game have yeah. been over curling for both teams, like especially for Team Peterson. And that's one you do have to get a little aggressive on the line because you, you, you have to get close to the guard to make it. But still, a very sudden turn looked like on that stone surprised them once again. <laughs> and Team Anderson in a spot here to not only put up three in the first and to open up the game, but steal in the second. And not just a steal opportunity, but a, a big steal opportunity with three stones in. And yeah, they're looking to take away that center path and center leave a very seat. difficult shot for Team Peterson against three points. And again, why that first one was so important. Now, whatever you throw on your last, you have to be very careful about giving up the big steal. Whereas if you're at least sitting second count, Actually, you're not worried as much about if we miss, too. we give up another three. Giving up another one, you don't want to be down four, but big difference between four and six, too. And if you're Sarah Anderson here, high guard? Or do you want to top of the house? It's probably a mid guard here. Okay. Anything that takes that draw path or bump path away. No, so line is the most important thing here. There's a pretty big area that you can throw this in as long as it's on the right line where it takes the shot away. This one really needs to turn over to take yep, that curl. path away. It's starting to curl now. Curl. Needs to get to the center whoa, whoa, line. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Yes, 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 oh, That's yes. well called there by Lee Yavaro. 
playing the tap off of that guard. And that's good team communication with figuring out the weight, how do we get to the center, sweeping to get that little tap off of the yellow stone and really good placement. Okay, you were a skip at one time. <laughs> I think so, yeah. If, it's if, a long time ago. Well, no, but if you're Tab Peterson, I mean, what, what are your options here? Boy, I mean, you, you're trying to give up one probably. You might be able, if you can get close to the guard, to chip in off of that stone, roll between the two counters in the forefoot for one, and maybe even use that back stone to kick back up off of, you're going to be pretty happy if you only give up a point at this, in this situation. And you're playing a path you really don't know very well because well, the they're, field, they're playing a, a weight to chip in cute. off of it in the outside of the sheet on a line that has been curling pretty hard too. Actually playing more weight with this to try to catch it thick and roll flat. Whoa, whoa, Tara. And it's an intern. No. Yeah, this is oh, on the whoa. outside of that stone. Nowhere near where they wanted to hit that, so yep. a steal of two and a 5-0 lead yeah, early for Team Anderson. Coming out firing against the defending national champions. So third in coming up and some thoughts indeed for Team Peterson to figure out where they go from here. And Steve's Curling Supplies, America's number one curling equipment supplier for over 50 years, is proud to support USA Curling. No matter your skill level or budget, Steve's Curling Supplies has all of the top products from the most popular brands in the sport. Right now, you can save $10 on any purchase of $100 or more when you use the code USACURLING10 at checkout. Go to stevescurling.com for all your curling needs. So two wins in the books, and the reigning national champions, Team Peterson, are trailing five zip. Spinning around the other sheets here too. Uh, Delaney Strauss. Spinning around the other sheets here too. Delaney Strauss with a 4-0 lead after a steal of three Ryan in the Gunn. second of Kim Rhyme. Always stay, always straight. So Team Peterson still with the hammer here and Always straight here. And they Come have on, a gap to make up. Come on, Tay. They're working with a 1-0 lead over Cousins after a single in the second. And Shiel, 3-0 over McMakin after a steal in the second of two of their own. And Leah Yavaro, I guess it worked the first time. Why not do it again? Yeah, easy call. 5-0 <laughs> lead, you, you want to simplify the game as much as you possibly can. And you know, rarely for a team of uh, Team Peterson's caliber are you counting ends already this early in the game. But down five, even with eight ends to play, you, know, you got to make up ground in a hurry. It's That three-point lead is not that big a deal if you get, again, we mentioned a couple points on the board, long game, but making up five points over an eight end span against a strong team such as Sarah Anderson's the number, we, I believe, 36 ranked team in the Correct. world. 36 That's be in tough. the world for Team Anderson, 12th in the world for Team Peterson. And the U.S. Hey. has another team in the top 50, and that, of course, is Mine's Team good. Strauss at number 15. Clean. Clean. Straight. Straight. Yes, straight. And this Arms. will be the game plan Arms. now going forward for Team Anderson as long as they have this lead. Good. Go in the house, make your opponent waste stones on your rocks in the scoring like area. This? And Team Peterson, the opposite, get some guards in play, bump some stones around, try to make some freezes, figure out a way to find a two or a three, get yourself back in this game. And every bit as much as the second end was, even more so now. A, a momentum end, a, a statement Lions end. Good. Team Peterson needs to put Two. a couple on the board to get right the momentum here. turned back their way. It's really sitting. Okay. 
second okay. stone from Becca Hamilton. Okay. A couple of good corners from Beck. Curls more. Seem like it? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And again, yeah, Joe, we we see the, the rocks piling up in the center here, the house for, for Team Anderson. Not attempting to score, just Three. trying Three to make tight. Team Peterson have to play to those Three stones. They can't Always score unless they move Three. those red Always stones Three. around, so. Three. Three to half. Oh, oh, want not this it. to be We're at least a tight guard. We're not it. If it's oh, top line. house, there's nothing wrong with that. Over curls just a little bit, a little but bit. not yeah. a bad result. You heard Taylor Anderson just sit, just like sit. That? Yeah, they were they <laughs> wanted to sit for line. You know, the depth is good, but you didn't want to leave this side open like that, because better. now you can either tap them to a pocket or you can tap and roll underneath the corner guard. Which is probably a 13 5. Should be close. If that was your that was your weight in that one. The draw is like here. That's a rarity there. Somebody telling Tara to speak up. <laughs> Her volume not normally an issue. Again, we talked about a different Green. venue. Back four, little down. It's okay, down go, yes. and for me, it's been Olympic Games it. where I've yes. covered a lot of it, but it just it's just noisier here. It's it's yeah. kind of ambient noise though. Right. It's not distracting yeah. crowd noise. It's Four. just people going just, about their business just a buzz. in the mall. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you know what a mall sounds like. That's exactly what the players are dealing with. Four. So it, I don't think that it's something that's uh, affecting the players. It's, it, it's almost kind of comforting here. having, you know, I, I would much rather have the I buzz than silence right when here. I'm competing. Okay. Right here. Top and nobody's yelling right anything right distracting right. or anything like that. The players are able to hear each other very well. Shell and Gail Peterson stopped up to the booth right before the game. Parents of Tab and Tara Peterson, little nervous parents as always. I know my parents are always the same way, at least mom was. Uh, but uh, said they're going to visit the yard house, maybe find a couple of yards here in the mall. Great options for eating and beverages here in the, uh, the venue. Slip that right in between into the top of the house. Yeah, pretty good Tuck spot there. The yeah, that's a, that staggers that port that. actually really well. So now it's probably a situation where Peterson needs to run something and open it up. This is probably a problem, Rock. I like your first call, Tab. You like that one? Yeah. Okay. Tara playing the intern run back on this red guard. Yep. Seeing how many she can Whoa. clear. They still yep. will have yep. corners yep. in play to use Whoa. Whoa. to try to set up a, a scoring Whoa. 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 end, but need to move these around. A little right. unlucky okay. there. Just about the only spot she could hit that stone and not lose another. It does open it up, okay. but an eyelash away from maybe all three going. <laughs> you can hear the mics as well as we can. Okay, sorry. Tab with the little self-deprecation there for the, the sweep call, I think. But it's good okay. to, to see the good humor there still. You know, the veterans not panicking, still staying loose, knowing that they're not executing to the level they'd like, but well aware of the, yeah, the mistakes that they're making to put themselves in these situations. So Girl, Team Anderson right. now can seemingly in Girl. control in this end. Yeah, making Team Peterson waste oh, stones. Oh, this guard really go, high. They need to go, get this across go, the center line. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 Good. Does guard the one on the center line, so the angles are still pretty good for Team Anderson. A little deeper would have been good, but accomplishes the main purpose and forces 
Tab Peterson to play this outturn run back on the yellow stone. Again, would like to clear two of these if possible and possibly leave the Rays rock in the rings. There's a good result there. Good Doesn't quite clear that other red stone, so only sitting third in the top of the 12 foot, but moves those stones off the four foot circle, so gives them at hey. least a chance top to eight, okay? at top least eight. score. Top eight. That's a victory in itself right now for Team Peterson. I heard Corey Christensen say, See, it only took me a couple ends <laughs> to say Christensen. I said it was going to happen I gonna already. I was just going to leave Sorry, it. Sam. My bad. <laughs> you heard her say a little more weight. She actually hit that pretty much where they needed to, but just didn't have enough to spill that other rock out of the ring. I was going to say, that's the one thing right now. They where? seem to Betsy, still be struggling to figure out weight on this sheet right now. Six, yeah, it's it's the curl eight, on the draws we're that they're having issues so with. And then the, on its own, on its own. with that one, it was just I needed to throw it harder. <laughs> Good judge, good judge. To removing okay. a couple of stones. Uh, Team okay. Anderson comes right back Oregon and tucks it behind oh. those three stones from Tabitha Peterson. Do you like the hit or the draw? No. I prefer the hit, yeah. Definitely I like this turn. Okay. Yeah, I think I'd be tempted Nine, five, to draw six. here. Do you draw or do you try to hit, hit that stone quite a bit. on the huh? left? And I think it's going to move a lot. Right yeah, they're, the they're playing the hit. They were trying to decide between the two. I, I think I'd prefer the draw just because you give yourself a little more margin for error. But really, at this point, Joe, you're trying to figure out which one you're going to make. Yeah. The, the way the team is struggling. Whoa. If Corey thinks that she's going to make Whoa. the hit or Whoa. she feels Whoa. better about that, Girl. then that's the one you play. Whoa. Girl. Whoa. Yes, 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 yes. There it is. There you go. You See, that's why you play the hit. Absolutely. <laughs> Come this way. Play what you're going to make. And, and for a shooter like Corey TC, you listen to what they're feeling in that spot. And, and the top teams have that kind of understanding with each other. And that's why Tab asked if you like the draw or the hit. Corey felt more comfortable playing the hit and roll in that spot and made it perfectly. So now that rock in the top of the four foot, over buried, really good position for Team left. Peterson. Sarah Anderson looking to play. That broom almost looks like maybe a tap. Thought maybe they'd play a little more conservative and just play the freeze to that stone. If you can get to the nose, tap it back. It's a great shot, but you do have to get a little tight to the guard to play it. Well, close. Looks like plenty of weight coming out of hand. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Curl. 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 Easily curl. by the guard. Really needs the curl now. And I, I think hot. they just didn't communicate the weight there. That had to be way more oh, than what they were trying to throw. So an opening here. I think it's close. For Tab Peterson. I don't know, we talked before after the first and do they have to get a multi-point in in the second? They kind of need to get bet, one right? Yeah, this is <laughs> much right. more drastic tap situation tap down yeah, five. They're, they're looking yeah, for two minimum now. And with the way these rocks are lined up, it's definitely possible. Yeah, it's a yeah, big like mistake there from Team Anderson. Again, the wrong side miss. You can miss that short with a freeze. You can miss it soft with a bump but wide and heavy and going by, now you allow Team Peterson to come in on that same line right on top of their own stone. And you saw them take a look at how deep into the forefoot that stone was because they need to know if they come to the nose of their own stone, will they be second count? Because that's their ideal position. And it looks like they're pretty sure it will be. So still a possible three here if Tab Peterson can make this draw. Like the line a lot. <laughs> Close, Becca. Yep. 
can they get what they want? Should get right to nose. So yeah, if that is second count, tough to tell from the overheads. Joe, the overhead shots, I'm gonna warn you right away. It's easy to be wrong on these. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much it looks like one rock is closer, I'm gonna feel fairly safe in saying that yellow's sitting two yellow, yellow because Tab thought it would be. So I'm going with what she said. So what does that mean here for Sarah, Peter, I mean, uh, for draw, Sarah Anderson and what she, she needs like to do? Anything. She doesn't really have a play to those yellow stones, so it's kind of similar to what we yeah, saw on the bad, first right? end okay yeah. on the flip side here, where yeah, they're yeah, trying to figure out how to not give up three. Okay. And make her do the angle tap. I think we put another one in. I think that's the shot up there, right? Yeah. Even if you're a little, even edge on edge with that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we just make her draw for her too. So, um, that should be pretty good. Where's ideal? I think this is the shot. Okay. Right? I think even a little more to my side's not bad either. Well, yeah, I mean, like right here. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. You got it, Sarah. Here, go. Now, based on where they're placing that stone, it almost looks like they think their second count. Because they're trying to draw into the top of the eight foot on this line. If it's on that line, there's still a draw to the side of the four foot. So. I'm not real sure why they're electing to leave that draw path. Yeah. And oh, now you're doubt hearing, you heard right there yeah, too, so not as sure as they <laughs> sounded before, now not quite so certain. So if that's the case, that's an error on the line call too because if they get that early and hold the line, it bounces off, still buried under the guard, but rolls into the forefoot a little bit deeper to make sure you sit too. Okay, so okay, they just waited here. a little too long on the line and might end up costing stay them a point. Stay straight. Okay, stay straight. Yep, we can come back. Right here is great, ladies. Come on, girls. Yep, come a little more. Come on, girls, get it in, okay. get it in. They are top of the house. I'm not real sure what they were trying to accomplish on that line. Hmm. Well, I think I'm drawing no matter what. Drawing and then Still probably measuring. It. Yeah, it, it, it might be us. Yeah, it's close. Okay, this is where I was for. I think they one. were making yes, sure they didn't sorry. leave a split yeah. for a possible three. Probably pretty close. But you could still longer. accomplish okay. that by throwing okay. it on the draw path, where Tab is now going to have this in turn draw. So. If they throw that exact same shot two feet to the left, they take away the, the split possibility we're not sure and the draw possibility. Second, but it's really close, so. So there will be yeah. a very likely measure after this. Yeah, because you just heard her say, I think we're second, but it's really close. So is, is it an option at all to try and hit what could be second shot from Team Anderson out. Line well, they're not going to go that way. They're just going to try and draw it in. And yeah, they, they don't really have an angle at that stone, yeah. oh, even, even if they wanted to. It'd have to be a crazy in-off, so right. that's not something you play here. You're just gotta trying curl. to draw gotta for curl. your point, but this has got to get off the corner guard. It, it just didn't not. turn. So a little farther out, ran a little bit straighter. Sure and now they the really are hoping too. that they have second shot. Measure? Because if they, if they draw that um, in, they don't have to worry about seconds. They at least have two. I shouldn't say they don't have to worry. They at least have two. They yeah, could have three. Difference in a measure for two or measure for three. And, and again, uh, the error on that first shot, that was perfectly thrown by, by Tab. And they just didn't sweep it for the line and ended up over curling to make this a measurement. If that's swept at all before it gets to the hog line, then they hold that line straight, bounce off, and easily would have sat second count so so we'll see if the the line error ends up costing team peterson a second point i'm going to stick with my original read on yellow just because i want to start out 0 for 1 take the pressure off it is yellow one for one for the <laughs> week joe we're hot already and more importantly, for Tabitha Peterson, two points in that third end to close the gap just a little bit. But Team Anderson will have the hammer and a three-point advantage 
as we head in to the fourth end here on day one, draw one of the Women's National Championship. And War Room Hero is the intuitive curling club software that takes the stress out of schedules, registrations, and more. War Room Hero, a platform built for curlers by curlers. Check out War Room Hero at curling.club today. That's War Room Hero at curling.club. We're getting set for the fourth end here. On day one draw, one of the women's national championships for USA Curling. And the reigning title holders, Team Peterson, trailing by three to Sarah Anderson. Joe, I got to tell you, I think I went seven for seven oh, on calls of who was shot oh. for a measurement for the Nationals last year. So I think my streak is still going. I think that's eight in a row. And I'm going to toot my own horn on that all day long. That's all the announcers really get, you know. Well, Becca Hamilton had Two. put it Alex, in the house. Okay, and I got a little more. Leah yeah, Yavaro deciding just to knock it out. Two and a half. So. Now you're going to see more conservative play here from Team Anderson now with the three point lead and hammer. Good, Becca. So good center guard there from Becca okay. Hamilton. Yeah, mistake on the first, though, allowing Team Anderson to hit and keep things open with that rock sliding in. And that makes a there. big difference in an end. When you're trying to steal, when you don't okay. have hammer, Where? only having one center Back. guard up after your lead stones, much more difficult to set up any type of steal. I like Girl. this play from Girl. Team Anders now taking Let's that go, top go, go, go. four space. Really well done there by Leah Yavaro. Now a stone that on Team one? Peterson That's will have to move eventually if they want to steal. But do you move it now? No, you're just going to yeah. throw a freeze up to that stone. That's if Anything that you'd throw to move that rock out of count would have to be something that would bounce open and then that allows your opponent to play a hit Wait, too. So they're just going to try to freeze on this stone light right on the top of the four foot. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, it's pretty light. With this being the yep. fifth yep. stone of the end, yep. Team Anderson will be able to peel already on the next stone too. Yep, yep, yep. This looks like it's going to stop short, so we may yep. see a double peel already yep, yep, yep. trying to clear things open. Or they may get aggressive and go right in and that's what they're doing. That's the, the gears, you know, trying to decide, okay, we're up three, we want to keep things open, but look at the angles on those guards. They don't have a straight run in. We can take control of this end by drawing in. We've been beating them into the house all day. They're staying aggressive, uh, top playing top to win the game. Clean, top four. Top eight, top four, top four. All there. Starting curl. Yeah, it's Next not three. enough. Just let it sit, let it sit. Okay. That's a good okay, shot by Lexi Lanigan. Oh, Uncle Gary at home rehabbing on the exercise bike. Wanted to shout out this week. We get that taken care of already in the fourth end yeah. of the first game. Feel better, Gary. Yeah, not a ton of weight. Nice throw by your niece. Yeah. Into the top one? Yeah, okay. top one. Now 
now you have to get a little creative if your team Peterson. You nice don't want to open things up, Close. but you need to move yep. those red stones. So a soft weight Whoa, yeah. angle yeah. running yeah. from Tara Peterson. Gets a little help from the guard with that touch. It's a little fortunate there for Team Peterson with the redirect off the top guard. Yeah. Moves one stone into the back of the rings and leaves the other one buried under the center guard. Turn draw yep, attempt yep. from Lanigan oh, over curling and coming up a little short. Not a terrible spot. Still guards their own number one counter, but would have liked to get all the way into their own on the top of the forefoot. Think you can get here? Yeah, that was my first thought. Okay. Just half in the fours. This is full four. Okay. You guys like this? No. And Joe, that's the path we've seen so missed narrow more than any others. That side of the sheet. Both the out turn coming towards us and now the in turn going right. away. Tara Peterson's short run over curls and wrecks. Lexi Lanigan's draw over curls and dies. So I wouldn't say it's straight turn, swing turn on opposite sides, but I think we're getting a little more curl on this side of the sheet than the other. Tuck it up this. next to that shot rock. Accomplished the main purpose. Would have liked it to settle on a little more of that red yeah. stone, but not a bad result at all. You're just trying to give yourself a chance to move that red stone. Yeah. Maybe Trust get to a steal. Yeah. And you said that yep. that side of the ice, it's been tricky because it. I think it moves here. They think it's a good line. They call for a sweep, then they say hold off. Yeah, a little different path there, going a little farther out. We didn't curl quite as much as they expect. But yep, yep. You're going to see more of those types of mistakes, again, early in the whoa, tournament than you'll whoa, see the rest of the whoa. way. Almost clips the other yellow there. Does move the center guard, so. Team Anderson still sitting one, top of the button. Another what decision now for Team think? Peterson. We'll listen in. We got to keep the angle, right? We just throw the same shot. Kind of keep an angle at it so we can hit it at that some point. Point. Yeah. I don't think we need to hit anything Unless now. We put up another guard. Was my only other thought. Same thing, and then you do that on your. Yeah. It's gonna take two shots to move the, the red. I'm okay with this now. Okay. We gotta stay a so little. This is long. I mean, we're not setting, are we setting up a trickle? They slash that in, maybe, but then they lose theirs. They lose the red and then we draw around. Draw. Okay, let's do it. Okay. What'd you have on my last one? Uh, four, three. Okay. All right, same thing. Corey TC thinking wash, rinse, repeat. Yeah, again, trying to keep that angle so that they have a way into that red stone. They don't want to move it yet. So a tap would probably have their own oh, roll open more. too with still two more shots to play after this. And Line's good. A little too early Line. to do that. In these situations when you play these freezes and these angles, Joe, you always want the other team to no, be the ones no, no, no. to move it's them. Coming up now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that kind of messed the angle up for right now. 
again, still trying to figure it out because you heard you got right there, like Tabitha Peterson go, it's not curling, it's not curling. Oh, there it goes. Now it's curled. Yeah, it's, it, it's just it's not breaking where they think yep. it will. If it curled a hair more or a hair less, it would have been good for them. It kind of ended up right in between, and now they they changed that angle, so it's, it's not really a stone they can use to raise into that red counter. And now... Looking to clear yep, all these yep. yellow stones possibly with the run in. It's one you, you kind of have to make if you play it because you don't want to open it up for your opponent if you don't. Oh, it just touches the other one. Pretty good result. The angles really weren't great for Team Peterson. I'm not sure what they could have done with any of those yellow stones if you didn't hit them. But you're looking at the scoreboard and you're thinking, okay, let's make sure we get out of this end with a point, not give them like any chance for so. a big steal. Well, we, yeah, we just have to get to nose. But even we, if we, we ever tap it. And we've got some big numbers harder. up. It seems harder, yeah. Okay. Cousins overworking after four ends right now, 6-1. Shield leading McMakin, 7-2. Still waiting for the fourth end to wrap up for Strauss already up 6-0 against Ryan. Yeah, there's a ton of points out there today. Take the <laughs> overs, people. My goodness. But you love seeing that, uh, you know, as opposed to teams coming in and being tentative, trading hits, seeing two to ones, one to, to zeros after a few ends. None of that going on out here. Very aggressive play, a lot of points on the board. And very fan friendly, Joe. <laughs> and broadcaster friendly. Tabitha Peterson. Go, hey, line's getting better. First Train. stone here. Train. Well, they, they think the line's getting better. Do they get the result they want here? And it's not going to get down to that red stone where they would have liked. And again, the angle's not playing yeah. well for, for Team Peterson. Little, little tap. Come and tap it. Right. And this is a yeah, big maybe. opportunity Even now for we, Anderson. Like, tap it here and roll open. Something that was as long as we're back behind that. Right. If we tap this, roll here. Yep. Let me draw again. Yeah. I just don't want to like Yeah. Do you, think Do you like, like that? that? Yeah, back line at it. Strauss puts back. up another two in the fourth end. Move it back. Yeah, timer. I think that makes so sense. So they now right? lead yep. eight nothing. Try to roll here. So yeah, the number fifteen ranked team in the world so not wasting any time getting out to a fast start with a a one no. in the first and then a steal so a three, a steal a two, steal a two and an eight zero here. lead. Yep. Just Sister now Courtney now. Benson yeah. leading her young so charges to a great draw. start okay. in this competition. Yep. So. Um, seen. Seen, uh, we file that under in the interest of full disclosure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and nepotism. I think immediate family you're allowed. Back but I'm making eight. the yep. rules up as we go. Now for Sarah Anderson. Back four weight, okay? But hey, if it, if, yeah, if it's heavy, we want the roll away. We want to be still full eight, but like roll back. So if I want back four, like a, I think like a 14. A little more. Okay, like a 13.7 then. Yeah, we were hearing 13.8 for draw to the button weight earlier so 13-7 meeting back four which is what Sarah was calling for so just want to tap this stone enough to sit Game. two whoa, I like the whoa, weight call whoa. here Joe that they're not looking to Curl. hit or play a heavy bump they just want to move it Curl, enough to get Curl, shot Curl. Curl. it's Hard. all on the line now Ooh, tough to tell if they moved it in for shot almost. Not where you wanted to end up on the line. Well, you probably hit off this one. It looks like red still count, but right? again, overhead view. See, I, I was going right. to guess like yellow because I'm going on the <laughs> inner circle on the USA <laughs> curling logo. Yeah, I like and I don't see much blue between <laughs> that ring <laughs> and the yellow. Yeah. And it's, there's a little yeah, bit of blue so between the ring and the red. It's very roll. close. Yeah. Again, the, the overhead <laughs> can be deceiving. What kind of weight are you thinking? Do you like the nine turn? size? Yeah, I think so. 
Just a now the opportunity cool. reverses and a hit and roll for yeah, Tab good. Peterson to try to sit bit. either one yeah, or two. Here didn't move at all, right? Where with the angles out, going into the previous right. shot, it looked like Anderson was set up for a minimum two. Maybe that momentum switch that Team Peterson well, was looking for. Because Tab Peterson could hit off that shot stone yeah. from Anderson, if it is shot rock from Anderson. And even if it rolls a little bit, she's got protection on, on the other stone. Yeah, I think it's a little too flat to play into the other red. Any, any stone that you touch playing this hit and roll is probably going to be the yellow one if it overcurls. And this is really turning early. Becca Hamilton trying to hold the line. And does tap their own stone, but I think is sitting shot rock. Do the same thing, try to tap. Now it definitely looks to be yellow sitting one. Yeah. Wait, try to bump this back to here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, 13 3 on it. So we had a broom. They're going to try to tap this stone off the button just for a single point. Not sure they can get enough of it to get two. No real danger in this shot. You're never giving up more than one regardless. So, And leading by three, coming away with one isn't bad either. <laughs> yeah, no, the scoring in this situation is a victory for Team Anderson regardless. If you said at the beginning of this end that you're taking a point. I think they'd be happy with that. Again, taking another end out of play. Now you got six ends <laughs> left and you got a four point lead. So you heard back 12 weight from Sarah. That means he probably doesn't have very much of this stone at all from the hack. So doesn't feel comfortable playing any more weight than that to try to pick it out or anything. So very difficult shot, but you only need to move this maybe a foot and a half to get your point. Oh! Where? Close! Close. Yep! Yep! Whoa! Whoa! Curl! 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 Really a little Whoa. weight sensitive starting to curl. Looks like she okay, might cool. get enough of it though. Good throw, Sarah. Yeah, nice shot by Sarah That's Anderson. just that. Yep. Good safe weight. Gave herself some margin for error. Again, Knew she didn't have to get real close to the guard to make that shot. Just had to get enough of it to move it off the button. Picks up a point. And Team Anderson goes up 6-2 after four ends. 16 ends have been played across the four draws right now, Tyler. We only have one blank in. That was Cousins and Workins <laughs> in their first end. So a lot of points going up across all four. And the fifth end coming up with Team Peterson trailing by four. Stick with us at the USA. So as we mentioned, a lot of scoring so far through four ends in all of our games with Delaney Strauss, last year's finalist, coming up short against Tabitha Peterson, up 8 nothing against Kim Rhyme. As we start the fifth end here at American Dream, Joe Tolleson and 2018 gold medal winner Tyler George. And it is the reigning national champions finding themselves in a four-point hole as we approach the midway point of this match. 
Yeah, this is where mental toughness comes into play, Joe. A team at this level of experience. We've seen bigger deficits than what they face here, but fifth end to play, six ends to go. You're, you're definitely in two or more mode no matter what. You're going to get a little more aggressive than, than earlier in the game. And a single point here for Peterson I would consider a victory for Team Anderson. Good, Becca. Great sweep. Good, Becca. Yeah. So the guard is out. After Leah Yavaro played to the four. A little more tighter path, tighter path. Yeah, same start from Team Anderson, and no surprise there, taking the four foot away. Hard. They'll come into the house again with this second whoa, stone whoa. if they can. Straight, Taylor, straight, Taylor. And you saw, Joe, whoa, how whoa, tough whoa, it is whoa. for your opponent to try to set up a scoring okay. end when you have that four foot area covered. It's going to make your opponent waste stones. That one comes up a little short and over curls, though, so early opening already for Team Peterson. Now they don't have to worry as much about chasing those stones in the center because they, they can get to that counter. So they're going to have Becca Hamilton draw to the outside underneath the corner guard. Uh, line only. Line's OK. I got lots of room, Max. Tara's raw. Uh, seven, eight. Go ahead, Tara. Go ahead, Tara. Yep, you can go. You got to bury it. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Pass the guard, tucks it underneath. Down to the T. Maybe a little heavier than they wanted. I like, no, I like this a lot. No, that's a pretty good spot there. They're not really concerned with depth. As long as it's buried, it may have overcurled. So maybe can get to it around the outside, but you don't mind your opponent having to come around the outside on a line that they haven't really played yet. It's a bit of a guess. They prefer if it would be buried, but if you're gonna show on either side, you definitely want it to be on the outside. 11, 11, oh, 10, Alexi nine. Lanigan yep. playing yep. around that outside. Yep. Hard. 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 Yep. Hard. Very tight Hard. to the guard. Still clean. by right clean. now. Fine. That's Good. really well call, done. Good sweep. Nice throw, nice call. And a good roll, too, going to the outside of the sheet. So, so it's not a stone that you can freeze to yep. going yep. around the corner guard. You'd rather roll it out than stick right there where Team Peterson could use it as backing. Nice. But rolling oh, to the side 12 foot room. is a good spot. Hey, Becca's, I think it's nice. Might have to go a little bit. Go ahead, Becca. Go. Gotta go. Coming down. You got it. Got a curl, though. So just, just go straight now. Tara Peterson now. It's curling fine, 14-7. Yeah. Curling okay. fine, I'm top of the eight. Uh, just come up a bit shy, but. Yeah. Just about completely oh buried. God. Pretty simple yeah. call here for Team Anderson. Just get rid of that corner guard. Lex, why oh, hit it about here, okay? curls but the accidental run back there by team Anderson clears both stones so sometimes the miss is the best case scenario Board. <laughs> you heard the uh, apology for that one that isn't uncommon in curling as you might see in tennis when a shot Three. hits the top of the tape and uh. drops over hit and roll supposed to go under the yeah. corner goes all the way out and just a little overthrown apparently we heard 10-7 again hog to hog time they were looking for something probably Thanks, closer to 11-11-5 I believe if you're poking out over here, it's not the other one. that little difference in weight holds that line straighter 
That's, again, a wrong side miss. Now team Anderson looking to go on the offensive again with no real danger here. Can't really peel Joe to get out of this end right now with the way those rocks are lined up too. So you're almost forced, if you're team Anderson, to playing more aggressive again and, and drawing into the fours. It's over curling and carrying to the back of the button, so. Open look at it for tight. Team you Peterson. Lay this way? Not really. Okay. <laughs> 14. 14. Corey Tisi here for Team Peterson as they are in a four point hole you can. here Careful. in the fifth end. the kind of yep. finesse shots yep, that go. Team Peterson hasn't yep. been able to execute as of yet. Yep, you go. Yep, 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 yep. Hard. TC go, with this go. out turn draw. Go, Tara, go. Curl it, curl it now. Curl, 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 go, go, go. go. Looking oh, to either freeze go, or go, bury. Go. They're gonna get second good. count. Okay, good sweep. Tucks most of yeah. it. Just this a small piece shot. open on what the inside. That? Pretty much second completely shot. buried. I think it's this. That's a pretty yeah. good result there. There's a question of a corner freeze, Tyler. They were, they're throwing this to a, a tight guard. And, and the question was, is the tolerance to a corner, corner uh, freeze on that stone of the house? Seven. Meaning if we're going to miss anywhere, do we want to be deep? And Sarah kind of shot that down immediately, so the tolerance is a guard. So she's just telling her, just make the shot up front. This is way heavy for what they were looking for. Ends up chipping the corner guard and rolling over yeah, I like on top that. of the other red. So like well, I, I didn't hear any other call besides that? guard there. But that's Hard. extremely okay. heavy I, I for mean, what they were looking for if that's the case. Far. I like board. Okay. Yeah, I think that's board. 11-5. So yeah. opening again okay. for Team Peterson now with that stone exposed on the back of the button. TC playing an out turn, hit and roll. They can roll all the way under the corner guard yeah. on the left yeah. side. Yeah. That yeah. would be the ideal situation. Yeah. This is curling really early. Yep, stay on it, stay Doesn't look like TC got out to the broom. Yeah. Yeah, they've had a couple of times already here where there's been a bit of an opening and they just can't take advantage of it. Well, yeah, that was uh, nowhere near where they were looking to get, but you get those opportunities, that's where you capitalize. And if they make that hit and roll, the, the three-point end is definitely in play. Could have been double buried going to skip stones, and now instead virtually no opportunity to set up a two. Just don't think we need to be cute with it, you know? You'd really like to leave the raise rock. They're playing the red into the yellow. But if you really like the rock, you're raising to stay in front of your number one counter. And force Peterson to play a double and a roll. Well, as she headed back up ice, you could hear Sarah Anderson say, we don't need to get too cute. Yeah, she's saying, <laughs> we're going to throw enough weight to make sure this goes. We're not worrying Whoa. about the curl. We're going to throw it hard enough. We don't have to worry about Let's the ice. See. And that's a, a play you make when Go you have on, the lead yeah. and you're not concerned about scoring more points. Okay. And there's the raise and just what you called for, Tyler. Yeah, I <laughs> would have liked to see it a little bit <laughs> thicker, <laughs> but not a terrible result. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay. With that much okay. weight, that rock is always spilling off, so okay. you had to hit it that thin okay. to stick around there with that type of weight. Yeah. But now, again, you are forcing 
Tab Peterson to play this double and roll under the corner. So two is not out of the question still. But it's a must make now for Tab. Gonna get the roll. All the way, Might be going the other way. And that's not ice there. That's just throw. You know, that's that's a, a sweep call right out of hand. So the ice reading hasn't been there, but the execution certainly hasn't been either. And now Joe Rock placement so important yeah, on this stone. It's not just a, well, let's throw a guard. This is where can we put this that takes their draw path away. So if you can get this to the top 12 foot on the center line, you really don't leave a draw for Peterson and you force them to play against three. If it's in the right spot in the top 12s, they can't even make the double to score because that side counter in the 12 foot would still count for one. So this is a precise shot. Really got to focus on exactly where you want this stone to be. You see Lee Yavaro pointing we exactly right there, top 12s. Just, just top 12, ladies. Straight if you're going to go. Straight. Curling hard yes, now and dying. Go. Come on, let's go hard. Whoa line, whoa line, okay, whoa leave line, it. whoa. Leave it. Yeah, just over curled there. So the intern draw is still there for, for Peterson. Missed opportunity really to put the clamps down there for for Team Anderson, but mission accomplished for them this end. They're gonna get a force at worst and possibly a steal. better part of five ends. That's been the thing to find out here. Can Team Peterson get the shot they need? Because they've had opportunities here. And for one reason or another. Mine's good. Sweet for T. Whether you want to say good. shot or ice. Sweet for T. We just haven't quite Where figured it? it out right Mine's here. Last really rock good. of the fifth end. Yep, yep, back up. Back up for and mine. Tab Peterson really needs to get yes. something Mine's out of this. Really good. Now they got to go for weight. The line's great right now. Just got to get there for shot. Can Becca drag it? Just enough. Great sweep there by Becca Hamilton and Tara Peterson to get that rock into the button for a very important single to stay within range in this matchup. So 6-3 at the end of five ends, and the reigning national champions, Team Peterson, needing to come from behind in the final half of this draw. And it is time for the mid-game break brought to you by Broom Fitters, where you'll find a full selection of curling broom shoes and equipment, along with unique curling apparel, gifts, and more. Visit broomfitters.com for good curling gear. Shot they're playing. So when right. they're when they're going through those, 
That's what always is yeah. fascinating. Yeah, we'll let them explain the shot before we do. Yeah, some serious deep down in the Buzz in the score, the light in the last three ends. And uh, I might know who our number 14 is right now. But, uh, you have to play a certain amount of innings. Yeah, you have to play with six. Six and around Robin eight. Yeah. 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 Nice shot, Max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good find. Sure. I even got text in. Are you making up Oh, okay. Am I okay? Yeah. 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 I even got text saying the, the report is good already, too, which is good. Yeah. From guys that would say it's terrible if it was. <laughs> This is the 2024 USA Curling National Championships. Along with 2018 gold medal winner Tyler George, I'm Joe Tolleson. Glad you've joined us from American Dream Mall in suburban New Jersey. We are in the shadows of the Manhattan skyline. They have the dream wheel here, Tyler. If you take that, kind of like the London Eye, one of those big giant Ferris wheels that moves <laughs> along slowly, you get a perfect picture of Manhattan. But what we have here is a perfect picture of all four sheets at American Dream. And how about Elizabeth Cousins up 11 to 1 after five ends? Delaney Strauss leading 9 0. And closer one between Miranda Scheel and Christine McMakin as McShiel up 7 to 5. And here we start the sixth end. With Sarah Anderson's team leading Tabitha Peterson by three. They opened up with three in the first. For line, walk for line. Stole two in the second. Okay. And have been trying to hold on ever since. Their first stone from Becky Hamilton. Just off the center line, but just outside the house. Hey, Joel, it'll be interesting to see how Team Peterson plays this last five after Let's really struggling through the Let's first half of the game. Uh, and every bit is interesting to see how Team Anderson holds up with Let's this the lead floor, the against the number one ranked team right in the here. country. Now, right it is just one game in a seven game round robin, but what this can do for your confidence, if you're able to finish this game off, get this all important win in the first game against the top seed, that will really carry over for them throughout the rest of the tournament. And with, for Team Peterson's side, I, I wouldn't be concerned if I'm the coach of this squad, Kathy O, about the results, win or loss. It's more about them putting together some good ends, getting a rhythm. The points will come. You put some ends together. And they still have six more games left. Not a panic thing at all, but it's all about putting together good ends, focusing on the lines, taking a little bit more broom on these soft weight shots, especially. Okay. Good call. Okay. 
And Becca Hamilton tucks that behind. And Alia Yavara with her second shot of this sixth end. And her team in control. If you're on, Kathy Overton, Clapham, and Team Peterson, okay, whoa, as whoa, this whoa. shot from okay. Yavaro comes in, it's going to nestle up nice yeah. here at the top of the floor. What is that discussion like at the mid-break of Hugging this side. I think I like it how much this can side you discuss of figuring out the ice in that break? If, if Kathy's seeing something that they're not with where they're putting brooms, weights that they're playing, uh, certain lines that are curling more than others because the miss certainly has been on the narrow side for Team Peterson all game. You're, you're giving them anything you think they're missing, but I think most of it is just kind of giving them a little rah-rah, saying, hey, we're not concerned. We know who we are. First game of the tournament. And I know I've mentioned it multiple times during this game already, but you really don't want to put too much emphasis on the execution okay. in that first okay. game where you're trying to get the conditions. And there's been a few mental errors and, and things that they should clean up that shouldn't happen even in the first game of the competition. But it's just about stringing together a few makes, getting that confidence built and, and saying, hey, we may be down three, we got five ends to play, make a bunch of shots and win or lose, let's get ourselves rolling going into the rest of the tournament. And Lexi Lanigan peeling off a guard there. Okay. But similar, I think similar weight is probably okay. Yeah, simple call there too. Just keeping things open. Three point lead and hammer. Again, a victory here for Anderson would be scoring lead. or a blank. Uh, two and a half. Team Peterson's gonna try to jumble three. up the center of the sheet as the much line. as they can. They do have shot rock on the back of the okay. button right now, so okay. they're going to guard for as long as they can. Right the important thing for Team Anderson with those rocks Good in the round. house is that they're not cornered on each other, so that center stone can be used for a raise still. And you don't want to have to move those around just to be able to get to that back rock. So Lexi Lanigan again, and again, just a peel, and we're kind of where we were. <laughs> yeah, they're fine with this for now. You're early in the end, and you're going to make your opponent replace. I'm looking across the scores. You said something about a blank. What is that again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's been uh, one. one of those so far, and maybe a little nudge. Uh, from the, the boss man CEO, be fan friendly, put up some points out there. Obviously, Dean would never do that, but well, we hey, do like on. to see the. You don't have a lot of scoring either, no, come, you know. Yeah, the, the, the scoring hole. means <laughs> it's some, you're not putting up the ends of the R without a lot of rocks in play, no question. So. Okay. Well, another high guard. Yeah, maybe a chance to get rid of both guards now if you can. Hit a little less than half on this peel. Yep. yep. And that would really help yep. Team Anderson Hard, open up Hard. both sides. Hard. There, very hey, nicely got done. Okay. They got just that. That's so important oh, now. It takes any protection away. Tab's replacement now. They have to make sure they cover that second red stone. Again, the one we mentioned that they can raise in. It's a little tougher to use the rock on the right side from our vantage point from this reverse view, the left side, to raise back into that rock on the back of the button. Yes for line. Okay, whoa now. Whoa. Okay, four. Good. Yes. Give me back 12. Back 12. So the decision made to chase that stone now. I like the timing on this, Joe. S third, second stone, a good time to chase. Give yourself a couple chances of getting that rock out. Waiting till skip stones, probably a little bit late. I like the call here from Sarah. Oh, 
just overswept that a little this bit time. and catches it high. That's not the place you want to catch that. Sorry, Sarah. Well, and help me out here, because I thought I heard back 12. Yeah, weight was great. The, okay. uh, the tap uh, moved that rock to the back of the eight foot. So pretty much the weight they wanted to throw just didn't curl as much as they were expecting. They were still on off on the sweeps up until a couple feet in front of the house. So just thought that would finish a little bit more. You like 9-5 again? Yeah, I think so. So heard 9-5 the call. So normal weight hit. Just trying to hit maybe two thirds of this stone. Roll to the middle. The roll so important here. So yeah, little roll in. To be buried sitting two underneath maybe these stones. Sure. Yeah, one you want to get aggressive at here. Nope. First skip Whoa. stone for Whoa. Team Peterson. Whoa. We've seen Tab a little wide on these normal weight or more hits. This one hanging out too. They do not get the roll they want. No, that is the wrong side of the stone. Did avoid clipping their own at least, but just been a bit of a flare on that shot for Tab. Again, most of the misses have been on the tight side, but the up weight hits, the normal and above, we've seen a couple of those from Tab if that ended up being a little on the wide side. A similar type of weight, I think, from what we saw on Taylor Anderson's second stone. Roll it away, Lex, okay? Still in the eight foot, just roll it away. And the decision with this shot is the kind of weight you want to play. Are you just playing the freeze? Are you trying to tap? The tap is a little more aggressive. But really, if you make this and roll away, you could put the clamps down on this game right now. Needs the hard. curl to get a piece. And just fine, enough. Very important who's shot rock here, and definitely yellow now. Yeah. Yeah. So that will allow Tab to play this in turn draw without much fear. Can sit two and bury, and that makes the shot a little bit dicier for Team Anderson as well on their last. If you're looking at one, you can get aggressive at it, but you don't want to give up a steal of two. So your last shot will be a little more conservative if this draw is made. We've had a couple of these moments, though, in this game, and it's another one here where the opportunity's there. The question is, can Tab Peterson take advantage of it? Yeah, and that's something that is a hallmark of this squad. If you make a mistake that they take advantage, hasn't happened as of yet, but very important draw here for Tab. Just looking to get top four, top button for second count. Line looks pretty good as of now. It's all about weight. Yeah, still running. Trying to turn over, carrying a little bit. Will be shot, but back of the button, so. Same shot here for Sarah. Just be following that one down. Only for a single point, so crisis averted yep. for Team Peterson. But if that rocks above the T-line, a major opportunity to steal. Now a much more simple draw to the button. Not an easy one, but... It doesn't seem like anything's been easy to <laughs> You can score with this shot. That's the biggest thing. So again, a bit of a missed opportunity for, for Team Peterson. So last rock of the sixth end. And currently Team Anderson up 6-3. Can they make it seven? Mine's good. This is a huge yeah, shot in this game. A single point really to go to up go. by four would be gigantic, but this is really running right now. Needs to turn over and 13, die. Six. 
13-6 should be a little heavy. Especially a little farther out where it's not curling as hard. Can they sweep it far enough to get two? Oh. That's Might close. have just stopped in time. One yellow. So only a one. That second point, very okay. important. But you get? Team Peterson still able to get that steal and crawl a little bit closer. A steal, and after six ends, Team Peterson pulls to within two, but Sarah Anderson and company leading 6-4, and we have four ends to play in day one, draw one of this USA National Championship. City's Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Okay, six ends in the books, and we've got some blowouts going here. Elizabeth Cousins up 11 to 1. They're now 11 to 2, beg your pardon, as they start the seventh end. And they've already had the handshakes with Delaney Strauss winning 9 to 2 in their first match. Yep. Right here, right and Miranda right here. Shield, the, the young squad, our juniors, uh, with a three in the sixth oh, now okay. to take a 10 okay. 5 lead over Christine McMakin. No shortage of points there once again. And here after a steal, Sarah Anderson holding the hammer again, and Becca Hamilton with her second shot for Team Peterson. Keep it straight. First one, a center guard, in good position. I'm trying to see if they can stack them right here. Good, Beck. Good, thanks. Two good guards for Beck. Not quite lined up, but good distance between those two stones, very important removes really any opportunity for a double peel. So you should have a center guard in play at least to use as this end goes. And that draw to the side of the house just behind the tee line by Lee Yavaro, that's by design. Bite the floor, bite the floor. Trying to spread the house out a little bit, not jumble up the center of the sheet, so good call. Great draw there from Lee again, she's been sharp. And good position so again, Joe. Four. The the placement on those draws around the center guard is so important starting the end because if that rocks on the button, it's an easy call to freeze for Team Peterson and an easier way to set up a steal. If it's in the top of the 12-foot, yeah, it serves like as it another goal. guard with how much curl we're getting that you can go around. So essentially you have three guards to go around. But right to the top of the four-foot there, half in the fours or full fours is just about ideal. And Tara Peterson, you hear it. Okay, it's got a peel, it's got a peel. I see curl, beg your pardon. Yeah, good shot there from Tara. Yep, just nudges that shot rock to the button, but it gives them some options here. Yeah, Tara moving from the lead position to second, swapping spots with Becca Hamilton this season. We've seen some really good results with that. But Tara still able to make those draws and freezes as she did at the lead spot. Lexi Lanigan peels a guard there. You want to replace Lexi's it? got her peel Please game go. going well tonight. <laughs> yeah. Get that big lead early, then your second and your third are going to be throwing a lot of those. But again, the separation with those two centers, so important. One, one and a half. 
no opportunity for any type of double peel. And now I'm going to try to leave this one as high as they can, too. I'm still line it up with the other one. They're not concerned about guarding really good, Tara. the Yellowstone in the house because the angle plays directly into that red. So they just want these lined up on the center line and not leave a double peel. Yeah. That one did over curl a hair. So I think they're going to take a run at trying to clear both yellows. Degree of difficulty a little higher for Lexi Lanigan on this one. Peel. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa, whoa. Good. Well, only gets one. That little conservative sweep call there from, from Sarah. It wasn't really anywhere near like yep. over curling, but wanted to make sure at the least they were on the outside of that stone and didn't leave the shooter. The, good, the right side to be on for that shot. And now Corey Tesey. As Team Peterson trying to get back into this. Just an intern guard again trying to leave separation. Good card. Good Not quite time to attack yet for, for Team Peterson. And I don't think time to do anything crazy for Team Anderson either, just making your peel. With that broom, it looks like they're still considering trying to get both yellow stones <laughs> off. Just have to be very careful not to leave your shooter here. On, I don't think back. that's going to be an issue with this one. That's right, it's Taylor Anderson. And, and that's just fine. Yep. Good. Good throw, Jay. So you said not quite time to attack yet for Team you like Peterson. This now? Yeah, the, again, we're in the similar situation that we saw last end with uh, Team Anderson deciding when they wanted to chase that stone and stop peeling. It's the flip side now for Team Peterson. It's when do they want to attack yeah. trying to get their steal because, again, they're down by two I points. A so. force isn't the I end of the world, the but sure, they right? don't have a terrible well, I, I, setup I, I to like maybe that, set up a steal. We'll listen to yeah. what their thought process is we here. Ever freeze in there again? That's, well, I'm wondering if you just kind of tap this to frozen, yeah. and then we can kill sure. it on the next one. I don't mind that. As long as we don't tap tap and leave them a double. Like, just tap it to frozen. Right. right? Even if I just straight freeze, that's OK? If you what? If I just straight freeze, yeah, that's OK. Yeah, I think so. OK. I like that. I think this just kind of helps them out. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Good conversation there. I think Kathy O is going to be very happy with this decision. I like this call a lot, Joe. If you hit that stone and open it up, you're really giving Team Anderson three cracks at getting out of trouble here. And moving those stones around is only helping them, really. Freezing on this stone really puts a little more pressure on, on Anderson with the way those rocks are lined up. So I love the call. I, I think this is absolutely the right shot, and they talk their way to it. And now it's up to Corey TC to execute it. I gave it a bit. I gave it a bit. Yep, just trying to whoa, either whoa. nestle up to the yellow or tap it a couple inches got, to frozen. Got, either way is a good result. I got room. Whoa. Tap to freeze against right their stone, me. freeze whoa, against your own stone. Yep, yeah, yep. as long as you're line. within a couple inches on the way, the line looks yes. good. Yep, Over curling a hair. Okay, that's pretty fine. good. Probably could have swept that a hair that's earlier right, for line, but... Not a bad too? result. The problem is if they held it on that same but angle as the other yellow, you could play one, into that stone. Like now it's tough right to now, use okay. it for a raise without using the guard. This bolt yellow is probably thick. Yeah, I think we try to catch this. Peel. <laughs> you got it, too. Let's make it here. Final third oh. for Taylor Anderson in this sixth end. Oh, well, there's the peel off that stone. They get just exactly what Sarah Anderson wanted. It does lose that top yellow. I think they were playing the guard there in that situation. Ended up getting the, the rock in the house, but that option is always there with, with that play. We could just tap well, then I misunderstood her. You may, I th I you may have gotten it correct. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> the result is good overall. Or do we just do this? The guard is the, the rock that probably hurts the most, but 
the result I think we gotta move the red now. does give them an opportunity like now to play directly yellow. to that yellow stone instead really of playing the raise. Like here, and I'm not right. nose, you just heard that we Although need to move the red out. We might, it might jam. Do they? Well, we're on skip stones, so yeah. now now you have to move that rock. The previous shot was setting that up. Or do we want to leave it to jam on for that one? You know what I mean? That's what I think, too. Hey. Hey. Just try to get up straight as, as much as we can and tap it to okay. this back four. Right, back so you got to throw like back eight. Wait. Maybe even back 12. So they're going to try to leave this red stone somewhere around back four, back eight okay. on the same angle so that any hit that Team Anderson would play on the yellow stones would still play into a jam on their back own 12? counter. You like that? So again, yeah, I mean, thinking yeah. you know, not in terms of, okay, let's sit two, but let's tap that stone and let's see if we can set up a situation where we have a better chance okay. of stealing. And this is the shot you play when you're down by two, not when you're tied up. Not super Close. Where's the weight? Whoa! Yep! Whoa! Yeah! Had a few oh. over curl oh. on this Whoa. line late. Line looks very good here. Uh, just bounces off of here. Doesn't keep the angle they were looking for, but pocket staggered in kind of a odd way for Anderson to get both stones. Yep, trying to get it just by this without jamming it, right? Okay. We're trying to hit it right here. Like yeah, that. pretty thin. Yeah, trying to just get by. Real firm. Um, more of like a 10 5. Okay, I just want to make sure that if we happen to clip this, it has enough to go out. I don't really want to try to clip this, right? No, no. Okay, 9 5. 9 5 right here. Okay. I like it, Sarah. I'm oh, trying it. to hit it right here and then just push that one a little. Yep. 9 so, 5 right here. Tell me what they yeah, It's a little tight <laughs> to the <laughs> guard to play this much weight. And they're. They're thinking they can get to enough of this stone that they missed the back red. I don't know that I, you can throw that the weight that they're playing and hit as much as they want to. I would, if I'm throwing this shot, I think you're playing more like a board weight and just trying to sit right where that stone is. But with normal weight, they got to get really tight to the guard to hit this thick enough to miss the back red stone. This is all of 9-5 that they're calling for, too. Actually hits the other one okay. first and taps to a freeze. That's a really poor result there. I think so. Just the, the weight call there. To play that much weight on that shot gave them no margin for error. Yeah. And I'm not even yeah. sure they could make what they were calling. So the window open a bit here for... Tab Peterson. Now the one good thing for Anderson is that the the shooter roll open to a spot where they can use it. So if yeah. Peterson makes this draw to sit two, there may be a tap for Anderson to use to still score her point. But as you said before, the conceding the point isn't so bad nice. for Tab Peterson. Well, 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 right yeah, if Tab gives up a point you're still down three with three to play in the hammer in the eighth so it's a better spot than you were in before but but this is an opportunity to steal again now with where these rocks are set up heard 13 six so this should probably be about back four foot maybe even back eight yeah, again now that leaves the same draw for Sarah pretty similar situation to what we had the last end in turn draw a little more room for Anderson this time around, but a big point here throwing against two. That was a 13 5 with back four. Okay, let's nail it, girls. 
So last rock of this seventh end. 6-4. Team Anderson up already. And this is this is a big stone here, Tyler, because it's either 7-4 or 6-6. Six, six. Big swing here on the scoreboard with <laughs> the game getting late here. Weight looks good. Plenty of room on the line. Sweepers like the weight. 13-9 should be perfect. Good throw, Sarah. Very well done by Anderson. Big draw, especially after the miss in the previous end in the same situation. Good confidence builder for later in the game and obviously huge on the scoreboard. So a three-point advantage for Team Anderson as we get ready for the eighth end where the reigning national champions, Team Peterson, will hold the hammer but trailing 7-4. to four. Steve's Curling Supplies, America's number one curling equipment supplier for over 50 years, is proud to support USA Curling. No matter your skill level or budget, Steve's Curling Supply has all of the top products from the most popular brands in the sport. Right now, save $10 on any purchase of $100 or more when you use the code USACURLING10 at checkout. Visit stevescurling.com for all your curling needs. Back at American Dream as we start the eighth end between Team Anderson and Team Peterson. And Team Anderson up by three. In that first shot, they just put it in the forefoot, and the pressure remains on top of the Peterson. That's been a big uh, factor in this game, Joe, that Line Leah down. Yabarro placing those stones right in the top of the forefoot almost every single time. When you miss that That's shot early good. in the end, it gives your opponent so much more comfort in trying to set up and end to score because you know you don't have to chase those stones. Every time you have that stone in the fours, you know eventually you're going to have to play to it. We do see the clocks for both teams. 8.46 remaining for Peterson, 9.22 for Anderson. Neither team in drastic need of hurrying up, but a little tight on time for both. You generally want to have four minutes left per end when you get to the last two. Whoa, line, just so you have a little line. more time to talk. So definitely need to change Let's the pace it, up it. a little bit line. here. Okay. Leah Yavaro. Yep. Over curls a like hair, but side. pretty good shot from Leah. Okay. So I think you're going to see these teams play a little quicker now in the eighth end, both with their timeout remaining. But you don't want to leave yourself only a couple minutes for the last end because that's where the Bye. longest conversations about shots tend to take place. Six. Yeah, I got a lot of room. It's four. Fine, though. Again, if you yep, run out of time yep. without throwing all of your stones in this championship competition, you lose the game automatically. And Becca Hamilton, a little biter there. Yeah, kind of the worst case scenario <laughs> for, for Team Peterson. That rock not burying, but also gets into the rings. If it stops short, Team Anderson would not be able to hit this rock. But now a soft Whoa. weight hit attempt Whoa, from yeah. Lexi Lanigan. Whoa. And a really big Whoa. shot in this end early. Yep. Yep. Clean. Clean. Looks really good. Whoa. Try to roll oh, under oh, the center, oh. too. Needs to sit. Great shot. Great shot, Lex. Boy, that's really good from Lexi. Nice. Good throw. Yeah. Or do you want to Again, if that in. rock carries another couple feet, it's buried, and that opportunity isn't there. We do. I'm somewhere, right? Yeah. So. Front end for Team Anderson has been yeah. really strong Good in this game.
Tara Peterson. Just trying to hit this tight guard and roll under the corner if possible. Shooter has to stay in this situation. That's the biggest thing. See if they can get it on the paint too. Oh, gets a little spin at the end. That's a great shot from Tara. Can't do it any better than that. And Joe, the, the reason they need that rock to stick around is if that rock rolls out, then it's an immediate peel from Team Anderson on that corner guard. And the end is almost over for Team Peterson, except for hoping for a miss or trying to set up a pocket to freeze to with those stones in the house. Like that. We could tap on the one guard. Yeah. Straight freeze is okay too. What? Just straight freeze. Okay, I gotta go. They went from tap or to no, just straight freeze. Yeah, this might be a little early to play this shot. Still four stones left for Team Anderson. If I'm the team that's ahead in this situation, yeah. I want as many cracks as I can get um, at seven. open stones trying to kill the end. I like the shot call. I think it's just a shot too early. They really need it to curl to, to freeze up. They were trying to move the top stone to set up a pocket, but ends up under curling. And now that rock is open to be removed. I mean, tell me about some of the other scores. Christine McMakin, they put up four in the seventh end, and that is now close to 10-9. 10-9, and there's three ends to play. <laughs> My goodness. I don't want you to think that this is normal either, Joe, and expect these types of scores all week. Yep, yep, I was just going to say, yep. that this is not what I saw on a regular basis at the Olympics. Come on, Lex. Hard, Lexi. Intern hit here for Taylor Anderson. Curling hard, but there's the hit. That's all the rocks want. hold, and really important, too, that rock sticking in the back, so out counts the biter. It's going to be difficult to make that yellow stone count now for Team Peterson. Okay. And again, even if that shot's made, I think that was just a little early to play that shot. Can we freeze? Are they even? Okay. Or just freeze in there? Yeah? Sure? I don't know. What do you guys like? You're going to be out in the weeds. What? You're going to be out in the weeds. Be to be here, weeks. I'm gonna have to give you a broom like here. Yeah, I don't know then. Unless you want to play it kind of like just the tap and draw, then I can get our normal broom. Yeah, I think I still like it. I'll just okay. make sure I throw their weight. You heard that term out in the weeds from Tab Peterson. In order to make a freeze to that number one counter, you have to go out really wide into an area that you haven't really played. It might be a little bit sticky out there. So instead playing the tap on the center stone should keep them on a path that they know. We've seen this line curl a lot once it gets close to the hog line. And it's not just that Tabitha Peterson and her group have been out wide. Nobody's been out wide yet tonight. Yeah, it's, it's just not a path that you've played. And, and it's one that you'd rarely play with a draw, too, going out that far. Not a terrible result there, but we'd like to get a little more of that red stone and sit in the pocket between the two. And we get a fun one here for Taylor Anderson. A long crosshouse double opportunity to kill both yellow stones. Or at least to roll into that pocket oh. area. Oh. Roll it, roll it, roll it. That's the roll. Good. Good. Good throw, Jake. Not, not awful. Probably could have swept that a yeah. hair earlier, maybe. Actually comes up a little bit more and hits so. it thicker, rolls right into that pocket would have been ideal, but this roll frozen on top of that yellow stone. Red still sitting two. And okay, well then. Corey Tisi. And you're seeing a lot shorter conversations line. about these shots right because of the time line's clock. Yep, for line. Right to it, Tara. Only 6.29 remaining right now for 
Team Peterson. But, Joe, I don't think that's a bad thing for Team Peterson. They, they've they really kind of played in a slog tonight where they're playing slower. And without keeping a pace to your game, it, it can affect your execution, too. That's something we definitely saw with our team. We, we always refer to it as playing with pace, not talking about playing fast because you don't want to think of it that you're rushing. But having a strong pace and flow to your game, all of a sudden now the execution's picking up a little more. And, and when you said yeah. in a bit of a slog, is right it a case of overthinking? Like you know, yeah, the, the conversation's going a little long. Probably trying to figure out the ice, too, with the first game of the tournament and having those conversations go a little longer. Yeah, but like a two? You know, two and a half? being unsure right about the conditions okay. definitely factors in. But I think that flow and that pace will improve for them as they go in the competition. But sometimes when you just take the thinking out of it and throw, you know, we see a great shot there from, from Corey Tisi. And you're maybe one half miss away from setting up a, a two or a three. First skip stone of the eighth end is from Sarah Anderson. Sarah just trying to throw a tight guard in front of the freeze that TC just threw. Not too deep, not too deep. Now you don't want to come to a freeze. Really like this to stop. It looks like it will. Sit, sit, Ooh. sit. A little okay. tighter than yeah. they would have liked, but not terrible. Now you might be able to get a few of these reds moving, though, with these angles. You think if we get this, we can get both reds moving? Yeah. Which way? Maybe. Like this way? I don't think we get them both out, but. Or do we ever play it like yeah. super thin on here to redirect? Or do we just want to get one of them for right now? Probably this one, right? What were you saying first? Hit this one thin over yeah. the top that way. Yeah. We talked about overthinking. There's three options they're discussing right now. Yeah, I think we got to make sure we, we gotta go kill one. Right? Yeah, and this is, uh, <laughs> again, with two ends to play. They've already taken as much time off the clock as they should have. And they're at five and a half and counting. They didn't want to use the timeout here yeah. because they want to save that still for the last two ends. If they were going to call it, they probably needed to do it right away. So I think they're playing the red over the top, trying to clip the yellow that TC threw for that freeze. Okay. Now they're switching it up and trying to play the, the, uh, the slash the opposite direction. You're going to see some stones moving on this one. And they all have 5.05 oh. yep. Yep. for the last shot of this oh. end and the final two ends. Is coming in with pace. Okay. Now I think that ended up just wrong for for Team Peterson. Now frozen oh. in the pocket. You see the timeout signal immediately from Team Anderson. Coach Earl Morris, a name familiar to. I mean the draw's not bad. Curling aficionados, father of John Morris, two-time Olympic gold medalist. I think this red. Leaves we'll listen in and see what they have to say. I think it's something on like hitting here. This goes out, right? I mean, we hit this. I, I don't know. I think this two might stay around. It's. This is all discussion about Sarah Anderson's final shot of this eighth end. And as you can here, see, Team Anderson up by this, three. Right? I mean, we don't really want to hit it on the nose, but if we hit it here, this sticks. Lose the fist. Here. And is this just discussion well, to minimize I, no, the I double throw a guard, throw a guard. for Team Peterson? I, I would think I with Last see, Rock, you, you almost concede a point here, no? I think the, like the, the discussion is just to try to figure out how to not give up two. Yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah. Yeah, she has this for. Okay, she hits this. Two. What do you? What's your gut thought? I understand. 
I think we remove yellow. My gut is telling you this. I think we remove yellow. Say, hit their own stone and, and remove yeah, that yeah, I think we just lower yellow stone, no? Here. Well, then maybe she knows that for two. But if we guard, I mean, two is acceptable. Guards the, e like, right, guards the easier shot. That's not bad either. Because I would hate for her to be able to somehow squeak through here and hit this. Well, no, that's still not. Yeah, guard this. Okay. Play this way. Timeout's over. Clock's running on Team Anderson. So eventually they came to the decision that the well, safest play is just this. guarding anything that Team Peterson could play in. Yeah, yeah. They could have played a raise with their own red stone into that yeah. yellow counter. But Let's, I, I think that would that. still probably yeah. leave a shot for two, depending on where the shooter ended up. So the guard, guard is going to force okay, two guard Team guard. Peterson into looking at some kind of angle to set up more than one as I believe Anderson is sitting shot rock. Were you surprised to hear two's okay? No, not at all. Okay. No, you've got two ends left after this. If you give up a two, you have the hammer up by one in a two-end game. You know, they would have taken that 100 times yeah, out of 100 before this curl. game started. Doesn't matter how many you win by, just that you win. <laughs> curl, just curl. Right here. Curl. 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 Just trying to get this across curl. the center line Keep and take that pocket it. away. Keep going. Go, Keep go, going. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Should be good. Okay. Good. Let's see where the shot is for multiple points for Team no. Peterson. Why don't I just run that? You gotta hit the two and you gotta throw enough weight to get that pack Those yeah. angles just don't play well here for Peterson. There isn't really a shot they can play in for more than two. There, you might be able to play that top yellow or top red into your yellow if you think it drags. You don't see this very often. They're calling timeout on their final stone of the end. Usually you're trying to figure out what to play to position yourself for later in the end, but they, they really want Kathy O to take a look at these angles. Let's see what they're thinking. It might just barely. Is it a discussion of trying to trying to get two? Yeah, she's going to figure out tick these. what shot gives but them the best chance at two. Okay to tick, tick and or like even. Or more. Peel. Like peel. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't think, yes, yes. Uh, on this one, right? I don't think it's for two. Yeah. Only shot for two. No, it's, yeah. I don't either. Okay. All right, so I'm hitting it to seal. It's basically no. Yeah, right? All right. Okay. With peel, I think, yeah, I don't think it'll do much. You see the timer going just behind him. Yeah, timeout clock still going, so not running any more off right now. It looks like they're just going to try to get this red stone to squirt between the other two reds. Play the yellow into the, the red behind it. So it's, it's a nose hit, but they're not even sure that they get enough action through. And you could easily hang this a hair and lose your own stone. I don't know if that would give an extra point or not, close, but close. here yes. is the final stone. Hard. Yeah, yes. yeah, hard. And just over curls a little bit. Well, they get one. But Team Anderson up by two after eight ins, seven five. Holding the hammer going into the ninth. And that is what we have when we come back. War Room Heroes, the intuitive curling club software that takes the stress out of schedules, registrations, and more. War Room Hero, a platform built for curlers by curlers. Check out Warm Room Hero. Say that five times fast. To curling.club today. That's Warm Room Hero at curling.club.
First stone of the ninth end has been played, but we can tell you that Elizabeth Cousins with a 12-3 win over Rachel Workin. So that one is done as well, but Sheila and McMakin, two for Sheila in the eighth. It's 12-9, but these teams have put up three and four points and in, so that one's not over yet either. And here, first stone com coming from Leah Yavaro, and again, does exactly what she needs to do. Yeah, Leah's been a huge factor in this game. Those rock placements again in the forefoot. You know, Becca with a good center. And again, difference in the game now with that rock touching the center line with the no tick zone rule. You cannot move that stone off the center. Or that would have been an easy decision for Team Anderson to play that shot to start the end. So instead, you have to play into the house and take that spot away. Barely get that card across the hog line. I think it's more. Don't touch it. Okay. Okay. And not a terrible thing to have that guard as high as it is, again, with the, the separation between the two stones. Overcurl just a touch, but you need two center guards in this situation if you're Team Peterson. Lee Yavaro makes no mistake once again, right to the top of the fours. And now two stones they have to move, Joe, and that shortens the end for Team Peterson. It's going to take them two shots to move those rocks off that Five. position just to have any opportunity to steal. Right now. Five's okay. Line's okay. Five. Yep, yep, come on. Great. Four, eight. Yep, come on. Go, 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 go. This one ending up a little short, so essentially a third center. Not a, not a terrible head. spot, but boy, five stones up now. A little surprised they're not I've, peeling this high guard. Right okay. Sarah decides it's time to go for the kill. I think this just might be a product of thinking we've been making these all game. Let's let's keep doing it, but you have a two-point lead in Hammer, and what you don't want is center cards. Now this one a little heavy and hanging out wide. I'm trying to get by the other stone. A good read, but. The question now, how do you end up stealing a point if you're Team Peterson and that freeze to the rock that Lexi Lanigan just threw like quite a bit more. may or may um, not be me. shot rock, but a bit more. this, this looks like a lot of weight out of hand right now. Where? Back four? It's, it's hot. It's back four. Yeah. I think it's at least back it. four. Yeah, that's back house. Now, if you're Anderson, do you keep stacking rocks in? <laughs> and now thinking okay, about yeah. the peel instead. Top eight. Yeah, I guess you're kind of shrugging your shoulders right now if you're if you're Anderson saying, we put another one in, how are they ever going to score? <laughs> Top 12 is good. That gives you something you can work with. Now you don't want to be deep. Plenty of line. Wait if you can. Wait if you can. Top 12. Just here then. Just here. Just here. Take a look. Just here. We're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. Just here. You can finish this still because the line's coming in nice now. Yeah, that might have been a little mistake. I have almost all of it. If you have enough, you can raise into the other reds. Now you can clear those stones open. So a little little error there. If they finish that stone and bury it, they don't have this shot. Really needed to keep sweeping that rock. Now, important stone here from Corey Teese. Tara Peterson trying to hold this line to get by the guard. Oh. It does wreck. Another one that was called right out of hand, Joe. 
just not quite getting to the broom on these on these shots. I don't mind a guard. A little tap. We talk a lot, uh, Tyler, about the importance of the skip yeah. and those final stones of an end, but you can almost say in the course of this Even match, okay, right? Even if we the strength right for here, Team Anderson has been actually. the lead in the second. Okay. Yeah, we, we always okay. say that it's hard to lose a game from the lead or the second position, but you can definitely win one. And you know, they, they've just been controlling the game throughout. And keeping can. Team Three Peterson over. chasing. Three they've left some opportunities Four. on the table, but Four. I can't remember an end in this game when Anderson Four. was chasing Four. at any point. And when you get ahead early, obviously, that's going to happen Four. more Four. often Four. than not. Four. But they've just executed so Four. well in keeping Peterson from being able to attack. Good, good. Good it's not that yeah, same thing. the front end for Team Peterson has played poorly by any means, but just had the edge with the okay. lead in the second position, especially for Team, for team Anderson tonight. Final stone from Corey Thiessen in this ninth end. And she busted up a little bit. Yeah, they wanted to move a few more than that. Hit that a little bit thinner. Just over curled a hair. You've said that a lot to me. <laughs> over curled is, has definitely been the theme for, for Team Peterson. There's been a few throws that just haven't got there, but that one they were just kind of sweeping on and off and needed to hit a hair higher. Line's good. Line's good, yep. Yep. Yes, line. Hard. Hard line. Looks like the rock is just going to tick that in the top 12. Good. Good. That's a pretty good position. Let's see how many of these they can get moving. They need to have all three of these reds clear out of the forefoot to have a chance to make anything yellow count. And Timothy and Peterson moving as well because they're under three minutes on the clock. Can I have a little more? Yeah. Tab trying to hit what she can yep. see. And get all three Hard! of these reds going. Hard! Hard! Oh, it just oh. papers that top guard. That's about as thin as you can do it. And now all three of those reds buried behind the yellows with the two rocks angled off in the top of the house. I mean, they hit this here. And this could be it. goes this way, the four goes back. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're just then trying then to figure out yeah. what do we need to take away. What's our opponent's yeah. out? It looks like Tab's best way out of this end is either yeah, out this. turn, corner doing? freeze. Again, the clock still running. 3.30 go, both teams have already used their timeout. What do you like, Sarah? I think. But for Sarah Peterson, their, their thought may be, the clock doesn't really matter right now. No. Yeah, it only matters if yeah. <laughs> Peterson somehow gets out of this end. Right. But you want to make sure you still have that time if you need it. I just don't want to give her a guard to come around, you know? Yeah, I only see two shots yeah. for for Team Peterson right now. Don't really like this shot nearly as much as the one she was calling. The the outturn freeze to the rock Where? in the back of the forefoot is Where? Peterson's way to only give yep. up one point. Yep. Sarah's worried about leaving a guard, yep. but you can't yep. be so worried about that that you don't play the yep. correct shot. Hard. Hard. This is yep. over curling yep. is gonna wreck on the yellow. And now that in that outturn draw yeah, for for Peterson to at least I think we only get rid of two, but that's try to cut them down to one is there. 
Sure, no, I know. Still gotta the angle too. changed after tapping those yellows now, though. They could play the yellow into the red. It's just a matter if they think the yeah, angle the back Sorry, if loses three. all three. If you only get two of them out, it still doesn't help that much because yeah. you leave a draw for a second point to go down four. really hoping that this drags enough to get the middle red is the one that I think they're concerned about. The top one and the back one probably go if it drags a little. But that second red that's on the button probably jams on the, the rock in the back of the forefoot. And here it is. And they both jam in. Yeah, yep. didn't drag like they were hoping. There's just a little too much separation between those stones to get the action they needed. So it will be a draw for three for Anderson. At the minimum, getting two and might be handshakes regardless. We'll see. Maybe Peterson plays down four, but very unlikely down five. So we'll see if Anderson can make this out turn draw and probably put an end to this game. Final stone of the night could be, or of the ninth, I should say, could be final stone of the night for Sarah Anderson. Line looks real good. Sweepers like the weight. Taking a little bit of a turn, but looks like it's by. No problem there. 14-1 should be dead weight. Perfect. So well done again. Three times for Team Anderson to go up 10-5, to and that will do it as we see handshakes. So no 10th end here as Team Anderson, would you call it a bit of an upset? Okay. Oh, without point. question. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the, Team Anderson, a, a, a solid team, very talented team, expect to be in the playoff race, no question. But, uh, you know, this is the two-time <laughs> Olympic team, the defending national champs, the front runners for this title. And, and really, Anderson took it to him from the first end of the game. And what a huge confidence builder for Sarah Anderson, Taylor Anderson, Lexi Lanigan. Lee Yavaro, Coach Earl Morris, getting a huge W to start this tournament and really kind of turns things on its head for Anderson. Now with that win over Peterson in a game that you're kind of saying it's not a must win by any means, starting off 1-0, and already having played this squad, really kind of makes things interesting for, for the field, for the playoff race already. So 10-5, Team Anderson over Team Peterson. Team Strauss over Team Rhyme, 9-2. Team Cousins defeated Team Workin, 12-3. But we still have a 10. We do have a 10th end, Tyler. And that is over on Sheet A, where Christine McMakin trying to see if they can come from behind here in the 10th end against the team of Miranda Shield as they are Another Trailing 12-10, but Shield with the hammer. <laughs> Another pitcher's duel there, yeah, with the 12-10 <laughs> score going home. Uh, Shield with hammer, uh, still in control of that game with uh, the two-point lead. Uh, but, yeah, we see points all over the place out there tonight. The least points by a winning team, regardless of the result here on A, will be nine. So a lot of action, a lot of uh, <laughs> fireworks and uh, rocks in play, which we love to see. But, but yeah, this feature game, this, this is a huge tone setter for the week. Uh, I wouldn't be concerned if I'm Team Peterson going forward. I mean, a team with that type of experience. Just got to straighten out a little bit of the execution. I mean, it, it was really everything. It wasn't any one particular thing. And Kathy Ole tried to get things in line with them. But I think far more important for Team Anderson getting that type of win and that confidence going forward in the tournament. And with a seven-game round robin, it sounds like a lot of games, but one game, especially a win of that magnitude, is just huge for them in this tournament. Well, draw two for Team Peterson will be against Rachel Workin tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. That's 1 p.m. Central. And for Team Anderson, coming off the upset win here over the reigning national champions, they're going to get Elizabeth Cousins. They had the big win over Rachel Workin. And then it'll be Shield against Strauss and McMakin against Rhyme, which will be the feature match we'll have for you. But we'll get the men started tomorrow, too. Uh, day two, draw one. 
And that will be at 9 a.m. Eastern, a little breakfast time if you're in the central time zone in Minnesota and Wisconsin at 8 o'clock, where it will be last year's finalist, Danny Casper, going up against Rich Rowanen. Yeah, that'll be a fun one, too. The, uh, the runner-up from last year, a little ahead of schedule on their progression, uh, looking to get back into that final again. Maybe their first men's world, who knows, and the opposite end of the spectrum for Richie, veteran of the circuit, to, uh, you know, having another, I wouldn't say last gasp for Rich. I think he's going to play until he can't walk. Uh, but uh, put together some good results this season. They expect to contend for the playoffs as well. So we are back with you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Central time, as we'll get the men's draw started here in the USA Curling National Championships. But here on day one, draw one, an upset as Team Anderson takes care of Team Peterson 10-5. to The other winners as well, Strauss and Cousins, and it looks like Shield as well as they finish up the 10th end, holding the hammer, leading by two against Tim a team McMakin. There we go. Glad you've joined us here for day one. We're back with you day two tomorrow morning, 9 Eastern, 8 Central. And hope you join us then. For Tyler George, I'm Joe Tolleson. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night. All the best.